Hi, we're here at Juan Alvarez from TI, and Juan is going to tell us a little bit about the latest generation of DLP chips. Juan, DLP has been around a while, but this latest generation you guys have come up with really lends itself to super portable applications. Can you give us an overview of what's going on here? Yes, uh, uh, what we are seeing here as an example is the ZTE uh, S Pro 2 using our new generation chipset called the 0.3720p TRP uh, DLP uh, Pico product. And uh, what we've done different and what is very unique now is actually we have evaluation modules featuring our, our new uh, products. Here we have an evaluation module that can be purchased at TI.com. And uh, what a developer can do now is they can actually get this evaluation module and then they can work with optical module makers to come up with very creative and innovative solutions. So what we have here is a new product from ZTE, the S Pro 2, which is a Wi-Fi hotspot. It features Android LTE uh, and it's a Wi-Fi. So think about it, if you are in a camping, uh, you're going with your kids and you go there, you get this product, you use it there, it's portable and it also features autofocus as well. So if you think about it, let me kind of do it, a uh, quick demonstration here, if you don't mind. Yeah. And so, so here you see that it's kind of going from different out of focus. So it's very portable, extremely portable, and it can be taken anywhere. It's a single unit. Think about using it for Netflix, for the traveler, uh, you know, many, many uses, I guess. Juan, can you tell us a little bit more about the uh, development board for this? What's on it and um, how does the developer interface with it? That's right, so uh, the evaluation module is uh, kind of like a starting kit for somebody, some developer that want to see, want to evaluate and assess uh, the brightness, wants to assess the quality, wants to assess the, the features around the technology. Uh, again, this one is the uh, point three. Uh, it's, uh, it's called the DLP uh, Light Crafter Display 3010 uh, EVM board. This is that's the name for it, and uh, it's fairly affordable. It's uh, inexpensive, and again, the the feature there is that we actually have a very broad ecosystem partners, and uh, so with this evaluation module, they can do a step number one, evaluate that, then they can go ahead and then they can start contacting various optical module vendors, which actually are featured on our website as well, and they can look at that, different form factors, different solutions, uh, and then after that, with uh, optical module, electronics integration, now customers can go very quickly and go to market with very different innovative products, and again, ZTE S Pro 2 is one of these examples. How close to a uh, finished design is that uh, demo board? What, what do you have to know before you can really tackle it? Well, uh, the, uh, the, the evaluation module it's uh, the optical module itself is uh, I would say is ready and uh, but again the the evaluation module itself is not cannot should not and cannot be used as an end product it is definitely so that it, if a developer can just go ahead evaluate with it look at the different features and after that they can select the optical module vendors and then put the electronics in there they can even purchase those chips those controller chips online as well and then they can uh, go ahead and do those designs so uh, just in brief, the evaluation module is exactly that for evaluation purposes. From a production readiness, is ready to be sold and evaluated, but is not to be used for a mass production. That's an interesting uh, development, Juan. I, I think it's uh, really going to go far and be found in a lot of head-up displays and a lot of uh, portable displays that um, before now it just weren't, weren't practical. That's right. And then, uh, so again, this is one example, but. Uh, what we're enabling right now is a lot of different applications, and so again, this is one example of them, but we, as you mentioned, for example, near eye displays, another example that we enable, as well as surface computing, as well as screenless TV, um, as well as many other different applications. So the point here is we are providing now tools. Uh, this is the Point3 uh, HD uh, solution. We also have other different solutions like the wide VGA, uh, that we offer also on, online as well. So then again, the developer can make an assessment in terms of resolution, brightness, whatever their needs are, applications, and then they'll be able to go to market.